Akter Esther 8. On that day did the king Achashverosh give eth the house of Haman, the Yahudim's enemy, unto Akter the queen. And Mordechai came before the king, for Akter had told what he was unto her. And the king took off at his ring, which he had taken from Haman, and gave it unto Mordechai. And Echter set at Mordechai over the house of Haman. And Echter spoke yet again before the king, and fell down at his feet, and besought him with tears to put away at the mischief of Haman the Agagi, and at his device that he had devised against the Yahudim. Then the king held out at the golden scepter toward Echter. So Echter arose and stood before the king and said, If it please the king, and if I have found favor in his sight, and the thing seem right before the king, and I be pleasing in his eyes, let it be written to reverse at the Sepharim, devised by Haman, the son of Hamadatha, the Agagi, which he wrote to destroy at the Yahudim, which are in all the king's provinces. For how can I endure to see the evil that shall come unto Eth my people? Or how can I endure to see the destruction of my kindred? Then the king Akash Vorosh said unto Echter the queen, and to Mordecai, the Yahudi, Behold, I have given Echter the house of Haman, and him they have hanged upon the gallows, because he laid his hand upon the Yahudim. Write ye also for the Yahudim, as it likes you, in the king's name, and seal it with the king's ring. For the writing which is written in the king's name, and sealed with the king's ring, may no man reverse. Then were the king's scribes called at that time in the third month, that is, the month Schiv Sivan, on the three and twentieth day thereof. And it was written according to all that Mordechai commanded unto the Yahudim, and to the lieutenants, and the deputies, and rulers of the provinces, which are from India unto Kush, a hundred twenty and seven provinces, unto every province according to the writing thereof, and unto every people after their language, and to the Yahudim according to their writing, and according to their language. And he wrote in the king Achashvarosh's name, and sealed it with the king's ring, and sent Sepharim by posts on horseback, and riders on mules, camels, and young dromedaries, wherein the king granted the Yahudim, which were in every city, to gather themselves together, and to stand for their life, to destroy, to slay, and to cause to perish, at all the power of the people and province that would assault them, both little ones and women, and to take the spoil of them for a prey. Upon one day in all the provinces of King Achashverosh, namely, upon the thirteenth day of the twelfth month, which is the month Adar. The copy of the writing for a commandment to be given in every province was published unto all people, and that the Yahudim should be ready against that day to avenge themselves on their enemies. So the posts that rode upon mules and camels went out, being hastened, and pressed on by the king's commandment. And the decree was given at Shushan, the palace. And Mordechai went out from the presence of the king in royal apparel of blue and white, and with a great crown of gold, and with a garment of fine linen, and purple. And the city of Shushan rejoiced and was glad. The Yahudim had light 
and gladness and joy and honor. And in every province and in every city, whithersoever the king's commandment and his decree came, the Yahudim had joy and gladness, a feast and a good day. And many of the people of the land became Yahudim, for the fear of the Yahudim fell upon them.